to my mixed media channel. Today I'm working in my Dina Wakely uh, journal and I'm using some Jane Davenport acrylic paints. So the colours that I've got there are Barley Blue, Fairy Tale, uh, Ink and Feather, which are Jane's favourites and also my favourites. I love them. So what I'm doing here is I'm just spreading them around with a baby wipe um, just to help make my background. So I'm just wiping off the excess there on another page in the back of my journal. I'll use that for something else at another stage. Just wiping off my fingers. I'm going to add in a little bit more pink because it's looking very blue. Uh, it's not quite the contrast that I was hoping for. Anyway, that'll do for a start. So we'll dry this bit off and then we'll add in some, um, some other bits and pieces. So it just takes a little while because it is winter here at the moment and some of the paint was a little bit thick in places. Okay, so what I've got here is an All and Create stencil and I'm just using a baby wipe and some more feather paint. Um, it didn't quite work out how I intended, but I think that's more my technique than the actual um, the paint or the stencil. I obviously need a little bit more practice in doing that because I didn't quite get all the pattern that I wanted and maybe I'm using too much paint. So now having another go here with some ink on another All and Create stencil. And I'm just adding a few little of those bursts around and a few little stars. Um, that's worked out a little bit better, but obviously I think I'm using too much paint. So now I've got some green, which is also Jane Davenport's paint. Um, and that one's called Sportsfield Green. It's quite bright and funky. So um, we'll just spread that around and get some more colour. Add in a little bit more of the pink. So it's starting to look a bit more interesting now. Um, so I've just got a little bit of excess paint on my baby wipes. So I'm just moving that around, filling in some of the little gaps and bits and pieces around my page. And again, just drying it off. Okay, so now it's nice and dry. Now the um, stencil that I've got there is a kind of creations and again I've um, got some Jane Davenport paint and on a baby wipe and I'm just popping it through and this one's actually worked much better so um, yeah less paint is obviously the trick there. So I'll just give that bit of a dry. So yeah the stencil as I said is kind of creations. Um, they're an Australian company and they're quite cool and funky. So what I've got here is an old dress pattern. Um, I think I bought it off eBay for like a dollar or something. I don't know. I've had it for a while. And I'm just going to add this in for a bit more texture into my page. But what I've got there is some um, Creative Expressions Cosmic Shimmer. And these are like little colour bursts of watercolour powder. You spray water on them and the colour just bursts out everywhere. They're really pretty. And they've also got an iridescent to them. So I've just sprinkled them onto the paper and I've um, sprayed them with the water bottle to get the colours to spread. And now I'm just drying them. So they actually look really quite pretty. Okay, so now I've got a Chain Davenport stamp. It's one from the Mandela set. It's got like a paisley and some eyes and a little border in it. It's quite cool. So I thought I'd just stamp some of those on there. And it's just with a black archival. So now I'm going to spray my pieces with some workable fixative. Because the Cosmic Shimmer is a water-based um, product, if I go to add that in with my glue or whatever, the colours are going to run. Um, so I've just sprayed them with the workable fixative just to help stop that from happening so I don't, don't end up with colour everywhere. I'm just drying them off again, making sure they're all nice and dry. And now I've got some of Jane's um, matte medium and I'm just putting the um, matte medium onto my page first and then laying my um, tissue over the top and then putting another layer of matte medium over the top of that. And the matte medium will actually allow me to um, draw paint uh, with whatever type of product I want to use um, over the top because it will just hold and take everything as well, which is really handy. So I'll just get that all on there and then 
give it a dry. So, yeah, so if I want to use my paint over pens or mermaid markers and things like that, I can over the top of matte medium pencil and um, it will take it all and it'll all be good. Okay, so now I'm just going to smooth out some of these edges a little bit. And the colour that I've got there I think is uh, Cheeky or, yeah, I think it might be Cheeky. It could be um, Buff or Highlight as well. I'm not quite sure. Can't really remember. Um, but the other stencil that I used there it was one of Jane's. Um, it's a little mermaid scale one that come in one of the paint sets. So that's... Um, lightened off my page a little bit as well because it was looking quite dark. I am kind of going for a nighttime scene um, as we go along. Okay, so what I've got here is my Whimsical Girls Art Journal. So fabulous. And what I'm going to do is trace out the outline of um, this girl here. So I'm just roughly drawing around the shape of where the face, the chin, nose and eyes and whatnot are. So the paper that I've got is just some vellum, um, just ordinary vellum, and I'm just, um, as you can see, rubbing my pencil over the back and then I'm going to draw the lines on. So what will happen is I'll get an impression of the lines through the pencil and onto my page. So I'm just kind of drawing in where a hair and face and whatnot would be. So now I've got my Epic pen, which is a waterproof carbon ink pen. Um, I love this pen. It does not smudge. It can be a little bit finicky for me to start, but I think that's more my technique and not having my paint completely dry when I'm trying to use it. So now I'm trying to draw in a face. Um, I really should give up on that <laughs> at the moment or I need more practice. It really looks shocking. So my hair is going to go over the um, page and onto the next page. And um, if you remember Jane, um, her book launch in Sydney a few weeks ago, she, she did some art there. So this is kind of based on that because I kind of fell in love with, with her art there um, that she created. So I'm going for that kind of same look. Um, obviously, I really, I can't, um, well, I can draw, just not very well at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing my best and trying to follow Jane's lines a little bit to help me along. So I'm just colouring in a little bit of the skin here. And I've got in some um, highlight um, over a face and I'm just rubbing in a little bit of the aqua watercolours just to help, you know, me find cheeks and whatnot. But it looks terrible. So I'm going to add some more paint over the top and dry that off and try again. So here, the little pen that I've got there is a Copic um, multi-liner and it's actually a brush nib. Um, and it's also waterproof and copic proof. So that's really quite cool. Quite happy with that one. So now I'm just trying to draw again. I'm using my, um, my trace just to help me with the um, proportions of the face. And I've got some more um, aqua, uh, yeah, aqua pastel there, but obviously, yeah, I'm not having much luck. So I've painted over it again. <laughs> And um, I've decided that I'm going to use some washi tape. So I'm going to move on to something else. So here I am putting a little bit of washi onto a dress because, you know, that looks pretty cool and Jane's washi is super awesome. And I've also got some the Skinny Eye washi tape. I love that stuff. It was so fun because it really did help me to draw my face as best as I, that I could. For what I've achieved because I really do struggle a little bit with that so I think yeah, it looking much better although the paint that I colored her in doesn't quite match the washi tape so I'm just trying to darken up her skin a little bit just to help blend it into the washi tape eyes as well as into my picture so it doesn't look so much like um, yeah washi so I've just added in a few little paint pen 
um, Jane's paint pens into her eyes just to help make this myself my own work so again um, what Jane did was put like a, a light a wash of um, the dark navy ink around the outside of her image and um, I can really tell that it does make a difference because it pushes the lady into the foreground and the background into the background so I quite liked that so here I've got a um, memo marker um, I think it might be gills or it could be polar lights so I'm not quite sure so I'm just adding that into her hair and onto her dress and the other one there that I've got is um, is purple and that's the deep sea so that's just to help darken right up around the edges of my lady and as you can see she's starting to look quite awesome so I'm loving how this is looking so I'm just blending some more of that color around putting in some more mermaid marker a bit more purple lovely Okay, so my video has managed to cut out, which is kind of annoying. So, um, here is the finished page. Um, so I'm just going to go through the bits that um, we missed, which is really unfortunate, and I don't know quite know what had happened, but anyway, it's gone. So the last few little bits that I did was touch up her hair here, and I've used some of Jane Davenport. Jane Davenport's paint over pens. I've used some green, um, some mermaid, sorry, parrotfish mermaid um, in there just to help brighten that bit up because it was a little bit dark. Um, I've also used a little bit of um, fairy floss and I've just pop dropped that in her hair and with a wet paintbrush I've just spread it around and I've also put that on her dress as well here. So that just made it a little bit darker and yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, I also did a little bit of touch up here on her eyes just to help um, balance it out because it looked a little bit weird and I'm not very good at faces. I'm still learning. So, you know, I think it's pretty good for, for, my, for me, for what I've done. Um, I've also added in a little bit more to her cheeks um, just to darken them up as well. So in my background, I have used some um, Amsterdam Deep Gold ink. That's what these, these ones here are. And the blue is actually an FW fluorescent um, uh, ink and it's called Galactic Blue. So I'll just put a few dots here and there just to help you know, add a few little bit of sparkles and whatnot as well. Um, the little crosses is actually my little mix of um, the golden airbrush medium and a bit of the golden um, paint and I've just got this in this fine tip nozzle bottle which is really quite good to use. It's nice and runny and it just lets me do, um, do my little crosses. I'm quite happy with that. And um, we also I mixed up some in white, so I've used the airbrush medium, it's like a half and half cut mix. Um, but this time I used my Dina Wackley white paint, um, so yeah, so it worked out pretty well. So there's a few little white spots in there because um, I wanted it to, to look a little bit nighttime ish. Um, I've also done a few splats with a brush here, this is some gesso, um, just to add in a few other little. And then 
I tried to make it a bit more 